All right, so we've got a lot of good logic in here. Um, the next thing I want to work on is actually updating and drawing the hangman in, in steps. Um, so let's let's go ahead and get a fresh start because I've guessed a lot of letters here and the word is almost finished. Uh, so let's put a hat block on the host. We don't really need this anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, let's just click that and clear everything out. Okay, so the assistant needs a hat also, so this should... Uh, hmm. So when the... Do, uh, let's do this. Let's make a, uh, a broadcast event called Reset. And That's what we want to do. So I want the host to ask the assistant to redraw upon clicking the flag. I don't want to put the flag over on the assistant because I'm not sure which sprite will get the flag event first. And so if it's all up to the host to react to the flag, then I can control when these different events happen. Uh, so the hat, um, the flag event is going to happen over here on the host. The host will um, pick a new word, pick a, um, or sorry, pick pick a new secret word, make the secret word list, um, reset our guest letters, and then he should broadcast reset. All right. So at that time, the assistant will update what he is saying. Um, so let's just test that out. That's a long word. Oh, contaminate. Um, interesting. I don't know how to make that say block bigger. That's probably because of the spaces. Let's just do this for now. We'll edit this, take out the spaces, just make that this. All right, what are we supposed to do? All right, we're going to draw the hangman. So um, the assistant will broadcast draw next part when uh, an incorrect letter is guessed. So the hangman needs to be able to react to that. So we're going to, when I receive draw next part, um, we want to basically put on a new costume. So again, the costume is what dictates what the sprite looks like. So um, we need um, a certain number of costumes, the same number of states we have for the Hangman game. So the first state is just going to be um, the gallows, like that. Okay, and let's put these, I'll put the assistant up there. I don't know if the host is ever going to say anything, but... Um, all right, so we've got the gallows, and then if an incorrect letter is guessed, then we need to add the head. So I'm going to right-click and duplicate, and then edit, and then edit. Click the wrong button. Um, we want to put the head on here. the head uh, and then we want to duplicate that and the next step would be the body body okay duplicate that 
that. And next step would be one arm. Duplicate. Another arm. Edit a leg. And then another leg, and that will that will be it. Okay, so the game will start here, and then every time a wrong letter is guessed, we'll move on to the next costume. Um, so there is a next costume block, and that's what we'll use. So every time this receives, the hangman receives draw the next part, that's what it'll do. It'll draw the next one in its list of costumes. So this should already be working, so let's try going to the host. We'll ask the user to pick a letter, and our word is contaminate. Uh, so let's get a let's get some letters up there. So let's do C. Cool. Um, let's do an A. Great. And now let's do a wrong letter uh, W. All right. Great. So the first part of the hangman is drawn. If we do another one, we should see the body drawn. So let's do Y. And let's do a G. Let's do a H. And an L. A P. So it should be over right now, right? But uh, it's not, so let's put it in the queue. Okay, and so the hangman sprite went to next costume, and when, when you're done with all the costumes, next means go back to the top. So it, re it reset itself, it went back to the beginning. Um, so we're gonna need to put in some logic for, basically, is the game over? If the game is over, instead of drawing the next costume, we need to just say the game is over. 